What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton had a press conference to confirm his exhibition with Marco Antonio Barrera. The trouble is, hardly any media showed up. It was a sad sight to see a British boxing legend unable to draw interest in his comeback to action at 43 years of age. Hatton plans to face Barrera July 2nd at Manchester Arena in a bid to erase memories of his last return. The hitman was beaten by uh, via Cheslov Senchenko when ending a three and a half year hiatus in which he dealt with personal and mental problems. A triumphant uh, swan song should have given Hatton the closure he needed. Sadly, it didn't happen. Now, a decade on, Hatton wants to capitalize on the recent spat of ex-pros donning the gloves in their 40s. Okay, Barrera got frowned on, but media attendance was sparse as Hatton spoke about his intentions. He, he said, I can't wait to be honest with you, Hatton told Scott Sports. Even though we're retired, we're not dead. We're still proud champions, me and Marco. We've got, we still got to set ourselves goals. We've got dreams to live. It was an easy decision to make. I don't think he'll want to come back to Manchester and have me box his ears off. I don't think I'd like Marco to box my ears off either. We all know that a great fighter Marco was. No one needs to tell me. But going in there and sharing the ring with him and, and finding out firsthand just how good he is is going to be a dream come true. Let me counterpunch. Um, I don't think this fight should have been that much publicity anyway. It's an exhibition fight. Here Ricky Haddon. He was beaten by the best. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. You know, he did his, he had his day in the sun as well, but he turned into somewhat more of a trainer than let alone a fighter. That's just almost if someone like um, Roberto Garcia decided, you know, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to fight, you know, Mikey's older brother that trains, you know, that train Chino Madonna's brother, Mikey, those guys. Um, that's about the equivalent of that. That's why Ricky hadn't, I think he waited too late to try a comeback now. And even though he's only 43, but then the, the problem is he's 43 and nobody really knew or known of him. So it doesn't push and peak interest to anybody. Because it's just an exhibition but between two guys that were at uh, at the top once upon a time a long time ago that not only that they left out of the sport of boxing um, not on top they left out in a bad way okay so I don't I'm not surprised that a lot of people didn't show up they could have at least show their support to two warriors that's kind of sad but it is what it is and I do understand why people didn't show up. You know, Ricky Haddon, who's who's going to really take him seriously, right? Marco Antonio Barrera, pretty much the same thing. They could fight each other. It could be a pretty good fight. But at the end of the day, it's just an exhibition. <laughs> so nobody really wants to flock to that unless you're Floyd, um, Money Mayweather, or Tyson, the Gypsy King, or somebody like that, that's already in or on that level and stayed at that level or is, is maintaining that level. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Ricky Haddon, Marco Antonio Barrera not having the support from the media there for him. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.